Well hello and welcome to my latest video. Now today because I'm wearing the cap you know that the cap means I'm doing an unboxing or an unpackaging but this unpackaging is different from all the other unpackagings I have ever done and why is it different? Well as you know uh, as you know I have a YouTube channel because you're watching the bloody video I had an email from somebody who said we really like your style and we'd like you to review some of our products and I said oh, oh, oh that sounds pretty like uh, that sounds like a pretty nice idea to me what did you have in mind and they said well we send you some products and you review them and I said okay okay well because I was a little bit wary about this so I said, look, um, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I have a kind of style that I do my videos in, and that's the style I'm going to bring to your product. So if I think your product is rubbish, I'm going to say it's rubbish, but at least you'll get an honest review. And they said, we don't mind what you say. So I want you to bear that in mind when you realize I have not paid for this product. It has been sent to me gratis. I don't think they want it returned, although I never checked with that. So I haven't paid for it. They haven't paid me, but they have sent me the product for free. So we have here a plastic bag. Uh, I'm going to say, you see, normally I would criticise places and say single-use plastic bags are bad because my friend Nigel Thunberg, uh, Greta Thunberg's brother, by the way, I was having dinner with him uh, the other night. And um, he said, you know, all this single use plastic bag nonsense. And I said, yeah. He said, I'm, I'm getting a bit bored with it, aren't you? And I said, yeah, I am actually. So I'm going to stop going on about single use plastic. Other than to say single use plastic. Now, the company is called Hydrotech Pro or H. So this is um, technical wet weather wear, it says. So let's open the let's open the paper. You see, this is oh hang on, there's a letter here. Hi Julian. I like the personal touch. Uh, please find enclosed the new Piogia overshoe. I hope he's in I hope there are two overshoes. I'm not a one-legged person. Uh, I have enclosed a product card with them with all tech details you need. We look forward to hearing your honest review. Regards, Doreen Robinson. Well, Doreen, thank you very much. I'm really looking forward to opening this. Um, now, that's a, that could be W paper. Uh, me and Nigel have decided that W paper, this could be used, uh, this could be used as toilet paper. Uh, I'm not sure if Hydrotech Pro would be very happy if I used their paper as toilet paper. I suppose I could use it to blow my nose. I could use it as vegan wrapping paper, as long as this paper has been produced from uh, sources that do not um, do whatever things that vegans don't want them to do. So if you're looking for some vegan wrapping paper, this is now available from my website. Uh, it's $9.99 a roll. So I'm afraid it's not cheap, but you are doing good for the environment. So I might make a roll of this and sell it on. Why not make a few bob? And here is, there's a bit more paper here. And this doesn't turn out to be one of those, what's it called? Pass the parcel. Yeah, all I do is just, I endlessly unwrap bits of paper and at the end of it, there's nothing there. Hydrotech Pro, that would be a trick. But no, there is something there. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, it's rather fetching, isn't it? These are, what are they? They are shoe covers. And they're, they're quite nice. Let me find this card. And the card says... Uh, HTP Piogia Winter Overboot. The Piogia Winter Overboots have been designed in the UK and manufactured in Italy with the best Italian fabrics. Uh, Wintex Windproof Thermal uh, Fabric. 
water repellent, breathable, high winter cuff with gripper, waterproof zip with garage cover, not sure what that means, Kevlar heel and toe protection, aerodynamic fit, reflective size and heel side and heel logo detail, seams are glued and stitched, road cleat cutout. Well, I think you'll agree that they're pretty good with the descriptions and I've got some, uh, I think they're uh, either Gore or possibly Giro shoe covers and they're very, they're very thick, kind of neoprene, you, you know the sort of thing? So you're, you're cycling along and you look, look a bit like a deep sea diver, whereas these are, they're light, they're really quite pleasantly light. I think that's a zip at the back and the garage is this bit that covers the zip. Not quite sure why it's called a garage. So we undo the zip like that and that would be how you put it over your foot. If you imagine that's my foot as opposed to my hand and then I would be I would be cycling along like that wouldn't I? And that would do up on my um, what's that part of my leg that's behind and just above my foot? Is that ankle? It is an ankle. I always thought the ankle is the front part, but I suppose the ankle is the rear part as well. So if you imagine that my arm in my um, Hydrotech shoe cover, like that, they do kind of work as gloves, don't they? So I'd be cycling along like that. See, this would be my right leg. You have to imagine this is my right leg. I'm sorry if I'm twisted into a rather odd shape there. So that's my right leg. I suppose you could imagine the same action on my left leg going round and round like that. So there's a cut out there for the cleat and oh, I really lost my arm there. And I think they're rather nice, don't you? Now, of course, you can't do a proper review of a shoe cover without actually putting it on your shoe. So let's see what we can do about that. Let's just move this paper and stuff out of the way. And there's my, there's my shoe. And your trouble is this is not, it's not a cycling shoe. So you probably need to see a cycling shoe. So don't go away and I'll just go and get a cycling shoe. Right, I've come back and it's a bit awkward for me because I'm on a I'm on a stool, right? Doesn't that look, my foot looks enormous? See, my head is here. This is a kind of optical illusion, isn't it? My head seems really tiny, whereas my foot seems really enormous. And the reason for that, uh, just to uh, digress for a little, is because my my shoe is a lot closer to the camera than my my head is. So let's just move my shoe away. I'll take the the HydroTech and I'll just try and put it on my shoe. Uh, I don't know if you can uh, if you can let me just I'm struggling a bit here. I could actually if I fall over I'm likely to break my stupid neck. Um I don't I don't think I don't think I can I think I can get this on. Um why can't I that doesn't does it stretch? I mean I said I was a size my shoes are a size nine and a half which they which they are but I can't oh, I can't get this on. Oh, oh, oh no no I'm gonna fall over oh no oh, 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 oh. <sighs> sorry guys uh Doreen Whew. Uh, and Jeff I think Jeff was the guy who emailed me I have a feeling that Jeff and Doreen are married I'm not quite certain about that I'm just trying to that uh, I am I am 64, you know, so trying to reach down and stretch like that. Oh, there, I've done it. Look, uh, uh, 
Right, so there is the there is the hydro shoe cover on my foot. And I must say, I'm having to support myself here. I must say it feels rather nice. It actually feels rather nice indeed. Um it's it's what would you call it? It's a kind of soft, it's kind of soft, fleecy feel to it. I've had shoe covers, as I've said, which are kind of hardy, hard rubber, kind of neoprene. You don't really like those. Uh, or else they're kind of rather flimsy, plasticky feeling ones. Whereas this, this is a, um, I really don't know what you'd describe it. It's a, it's a kind of soft, not, uh, not fleecy exactly, it's a thin, thin fleecy. Anyway, I think they, well, they do fit. Uh, they feel very nice. Um, that is my, that's my cleat, by the way, sticking out there. So let me just see if I can get this, get this off. <laughs> well, I, the, the, see, now look. Let me just hold that up to you. It's a sort of like a sort of Roubaix fabric, I guess you'd call it. And they say it's uh, uh, waterproof and the, the seams are taped. So I must say, I think those are very nice. I'd like to say to uh, Jeff and Doyne Robinson, thank you very much for sending me these. I think they seem really nice. There's a tight fitting cuff at the top there uh, and I don't often go out when it's in the pouring rain or when it's really bad weather and I went out this morning and it was rather cold so I would have fancied these so what I will do is I'll wear these uh, next time I go out on the ride and I'll uh, report back and let you know how I got on so thanks for watching so far thanks very much to Hydro Tech uh, for sending me these products I'll leave a link to the company down below. I doubt if they'll send you a free pair, uh, but I'll find out the price of them and I'll put a link with the price of them underneath this video. So in the meantime, I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching. Uh, see you next time. So riding along on a, a cool, damp, but not rainy day, uh, wearing the Hydrotech shoe covers. And you can see them there on my feet. That's my left hand foot on my left foot hand and you can see my foot turning around on the pedal wearing the shoe cover. They feel good, they feel nice, they feel pretty warm and uh, so far I've got to say I'm happy with them. So thanks to the guys at uh, thanks to the guys at Hydrotech for sending me these shoe covers and if you're interested check out the company I'll leave a link to their website and if you want to buy a pair of their shoe covers, do so. They also do uh, base layers, leg warmers, and uh, neck warmers, or uh, buffs. Although somebody did tell me that was a trademark. So uh, neck warmers, I think, is the correct uh, nomenclature. So thanks for watching, and see you next time.